Franz Sobel, The Raft of the Medusa. It's a horrifying tale. 150 shipwrecked sailors put together a makeshift raft in their attempt to survive. Initially, they work together, but they soon turn on each other. It's a real-life tragedy that happened in 1816 and still reverberates today. When I heard about this story, I was awestruck. It shows human beings in an extreme situation. This group of 150 people is completely enclosed. They have no external input. Austrian writer Franz Sobel has been meticulous in his study of the sources surrounding the disaster. His work depicts the brutal fight for survival. Only 15 people lived through it. Within days, they had shed every last vestige of the moral values they otherwise lived by. Wer hätte gedacht, dass 50 Stunden reichen würden, um Menschen in Kannibalen zu verwandeln? Kolonisten, die den Wegen der europäischen Werte vermitteln sollten, hatten sich in Menschenfresser verwandelt. The dramatic scenes playing out on the Mediterranean 200 years later were very much on Franz Sobel's mind as he was writing. But the novel focuses only on the historical event. I was probably trying to process the migration crisis through my work, but I realized it was too immediate. When I stumbled on this story, I realized it was related. This historical event suddenly seemed very topical. The raft of the Medusa confronts the reader with disturbing truths, showing how quickly humans can lose their moral compass when it comes to saving their own skin.